Good morning everybody. Today we're catching the morning train to Ulaanbaatar and I feel as if we're making some progress because I can finally get rid of my Russian map even though it's in German. It's a Russian map and I can replace it with my Chinese map. Well, I made it, Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. Last night's border crossing was actually quite interesting. Uh, I timed it from the moment the train stopped at the Russian side to the time we left from the Mongolian side, and it was four hours and 12 minutes. Um, there was a lot of waiting around with little spurts of activity, uh, and in particular, the Russian side was interesting. At one point, we had about seven officials on the on the, the carriage. We had a sniffer dog. We had searches looking at every little compartment inside the train, underneath the carpets, in the roof. I had to actually open up my bags. She wasn't interested in what was inside. She could probably smell what was inside. Uh, asked me to actually open up all the little nooks and crannies in the uh, compartment as well. I don't know why she picked on me, but anyway, no problems. Four hours, 12 minutes, but it was good fun, and I'm here in Mongolia. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I'm at the Zaisan Monument and I got here the hard way by climbing up all those stairs. There's a couple of hundreds so I think I'll count them on the way down as I lost count on the way up. There's an absolutely fantastic view from up here. I hadn't realized uh, Ulaanbaatar was such a large city. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 600, 601, 602, 602 steps to the very top, to the very bottom. And I think there might be a few more coming up just to get down to street level. Or you can nip through this shopping center here, up to the 10th floor I think it is, there's two more steps, and that's probably the easy way of doing it. Of course, I had to do it the hard way, didn't I? How's that? Well, that ends a very active, very hot day in Ulaanbaatar. I'm looking forward to a cold shower and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>